The Frog Story, a tale of encouragement and positivity. Once upon a time, there were two frogs named Jack and Jill. They decided to join all the other frogs and hop through the forest. They were hopping and hopping and having so much fun, they didn't even notice a big hole in the middle of the path. Oh no! Shouted Jack and Jill as they fell into the deep hole. They brushed themselves up and looked all the way up at the top of the hole. They could barely see the forest above them. All the other frogs gathered around the top of the hole to see what had happened. They looked down to see Jack and Jill all the way at the bottom. You're down so far, you'll never be able to make it back up. They yelled down to Jack and Jill. One of the frogs decided to see how deep the hole really was. So what did he do? He spit. He spit into the hole and listened for the splat. Pew! Splat. Goodness, it took forever. Me, oh my, that was a deep, deep hole. Oh no, we're stuck in this hole. How will we ever get out? Jack cried. Hmm. I've got it, Jack. Let's do what frogs do best. We'll hop. We can hop our way out of this hole. Come on, Jack. We can make it. Jill replied. So Jack and Jill hopped. They hopped and hopped and hopped and hopped. But no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't get out of that hole. Stop trying! You'll never make it. You'll just get too tired! Yelled the frogs at the top. Oh man, they're right. I'll never make it. I can never hop out of this hole. Jack thought to himself. And yet, Jack hopped and hopped and hopped until he was just too tired to try any more. But Jill, she, she hopped and hopped. And hopped and hopped. Stop it! You just can't do it, silly. Give up already! Yelled the group of frogs. But Jill tried again. She hopped and hopped. I'm almost there, she thought. And with one giant hop, she got out of the hole. She looked around and just couldn't believe it. I made it! I made it! She thought. Everybody was so surprised. How did you do it? They asked. We told you again and again you just couldn't make it. Well, didn't you know, silly frogs, that I couldn't hear you? I'm deaf, Jill said proudly. When I looked up and saw you all, I thought you were cheering me on. So what can we learn from these silly frogs? It is always better to stay positive and encourage those around us than to tell them to give up. The end.